Hello, we are here at the Rosa Keller Library Arts and Wellness Center in the Broadmoor neighborhood in New Orleans. I am so excited and honored today to be part of the National Conference of Artists 24th Annual Martin Luther King Jr. Exhibition. My name is Jamar Pierre, a local artist from New Orleans. I want to thank the Rosa Keller Library, Mrs. Sharon Cole, and coordinator Charlie T. Johnson for helping me put this together. I also would like to thank the Broadmoor Improvement Society for sponsoring this event. So we're going to talk about my first piece that I have on this exhibit. This piece it's called The Other Side of the Church. This piece shows a conversation between a have and have not to my community. Over the years, there's been some conscious decision to make healthy choices, affordable housing, and some equality in our neighborhoods. But growing up in New Orleans, for me, I always saw that the African-American neighborhood had less choices through the red line in my city uh, compared to other neighborhoods you might go to. So this piece is talking about equality and trying to inspire people to make healthy, affordable choices for our community. One reason why I'm very excited about this show is because I believe in the teachings of Dr. King. He was a man that taught peace, even when his enemies were physically harming him. And he spoke of nonviolence and inspired other people to show compassion even to their enemy. Through that light and that experience in my personal life, I've had a chance to create community projects and art with people from all backgrounds and all walks of life and show love, regardless of their creed or color. So a lot of these pieces are inspired by that, and this piece is called Diversity. One of my first international residencies I did five years ago was at an international school in the Peninsula of Nicoya in Costa Rica, where I was working with students from all walks of life that spoke different languages. We created a mural called Diversity and in this mural, I wanted to tell the story of people from all different walks of life hanging out together, because that's what we were doing. We came this great mural, and diversity was just a great name for it. Every time I do a mural, because I mostly do murals, I like to create an original piece for my maquette. And that original can be used and framed as well as a reference for me to design the mirror. Um, I started off growing up in New Orleans in the 80s doing street art and graffiti. So as an art educator, I love doing murals and projects with young people and incorporating that graffiti street art style because they relate to it and it's one of the things that bonds us together. This next piece, it's called Coming Together. This piece is also a maquette of a mural that was created on a Chapatula's floor wall in an uptown corridor on 7 and Chapatula Street. This piece is paying homage to the late great Ellis Marcellus who passed during the pandemic, all health care workers, and social equality. I felt like it was very important for me to tell this story on the mural, especially during a time like this, because the mural is a timeline of actual history from the past, present, and future of our great city of New Orleans. So this painting is called Coming Together. I actually had a chance to meet Ellis Marcellus as a young kid and play piano with him. And he was one of the first creatives that I met as a kid that inspired me. And he was loved by many people in this city, so we wanted to definitely pay homage to him. 
and what a better way to do it by telling everything that's been going on in the year 2020. Next over here, we have a piece that celebrates my love for music, but I would have to say it celebrates American music because the visual conversation and inspiration with this piece was paying homage to some of the greatest musicians in American history who inspired rock and roll and hip hop. Miles Davis, Jimi Hendrix, Robert Johnson, Louis Armstrong, we call them Pops. So this piece I'm incorporating a little bit of my street art graffiti style too. And it's called Innovators because they are the innovators. But they also are the Blues Kings. I put Blues Kings in there, but really they are the innovators to me of American music. Okay, now let's go over here. This is another very important piece that I created in the year 2020. It's called One Love. Um, for many reasons, I wanted to show my humanitarian efforts, showing people of different walks of life, working together, and once again, pay homage to our healthcare workers because my sister is a respiratory therapist at Oshner. And I knew that we had to, in these rough times, come together, no matter what race, age, or background you come from. So that's why you see the hands here are different skin tones and races. And it's holding up a roof, representing the roof of humanity and all of us coming together as one. Also, I feel that nature is a way to heal the sun and the trees and the circles of life represents that. So this piece is called One Love. Now let's go in the next room and look at the last pieces I have over here. And uh, this piece is called Rural Blues. Uh, it's just a fun piece I was doing, celebrating my ancestors from the rural south. My dad was a musician and my ancestors worked in the sugar cane and cotton fields in, in the Bayou River parishes. And he represents, you know, the humble beginnings of a lot of our people and that connection to music and nature. Sometimes, you know, slavery and the things that are still going on in our community is very harsh and there's still not a lot of equality, but out of that oppression, we always create something beautiful. Music, visual art, poetry, dance, theater. So this painting, Rural Blues. This painting is the Spanish court. I had the honor of being the official tricentennial artist in 2018 to create the official tricentennial print and painting for the NOLA 2018 Foundation. By being an official tricentennial artist, I was able to get a, a one-year residency at Longview House and Gardens. Longview House and Gardens is the estate of the Stern family. They're a rich Jewish family who started WDSU, helped start Dill University, and they were very, very involved in the rights and equality of African American and women. I was so honored and loved having my studio there for one year, and this is one of the courts, the Spanish courts that's at Longview Halls and Gardens. One of the things that really inspired me to paint this piece and that drew me to the Spanish gardens at Longview was the circles, some of the arches and the architecture that to me had a, a more a, a Moorish, I would say more of a Moor influence. A lot of Spanish and Italian architecture, you could see the North African and Moor influence in the work. Um, 
So the Stern family would go to Europe and be inspired by gardens they would see in their travels and come back to New Orleans and build these gardens on their estate. Okay, we have one more piece here. So this piece really shows presence for me and growing spiritually as a human to get in touch with nature and be calm and be still. And through that, I've been able to have more compassion for myself and others. I painted this painting, it's called Playa Grande. The first residency I did in Costa Rica, which was an amazing spiritual experience for me because it's the first time I was in pristine nature for such a long period of time, just painting by myself. So you get to be still, enjoy nature, and create this beautiful work. It taught me a very, very important lesson is to be patient, present, and still as much as possible in my life. It made me take more time on my work. It made me more patient, and I'm noticing ever since this residency, I've done other residencies here in my own community and abroad, but I've learned how to be more patient and more calm because of this experience. So this represents the beginning of that experience of going back to being creative and childlike and presence and gaining some of that, that joy back that you get when you're a kid. This painting is uh, one of the few watercolor pieces I have in the show on cotton paper. That's it, thank you for joining us.